Number 17 says a dock worker loading crates on a ship finds that a 17 kilogram crate initially at rest on a horizontal surface requires a 73 newton horizontal force to set it in motion. However, after the crate is in motion, a horizontal force of 52 newtons is required to keep it moving with a constant speed. Find the coefficients of static and kinetic friction between the crate and the floor. So here's what we got our x and y axis we have this crate and it's being pushed initially with 73 uh, 73 newtons of force and it's just starting to move so 73 newtons of force is what it just requires to start moving so we know we also have a, a some uh, friction force in this direction that also equals 73 um, in magnitude. So we have our x1 is 73 and our x2 equals our our static friction. And so static friction equals uh, the the normal force times the the coefficient of static friction. And so it actually gives, uh, it wants us to, to figure out the coefficient of static friction. So the normal force is the, the force um, pushed up on the ground, uh, on the crate by the ground, and it's equal in magnitude to the force pushing down, which would be gravity in this case, since it's not on an incline, it's directly the gravity. So gravity is going down at 9.8 times the the mass of the crate which is 17 kilograms and that gives us a normal force of 166.6 newtons and so um, we we can say that 70 uh, 73 which is our our force of uh, static friction 73 newtons equals 166.6 newtons time times this uh, um, this letter this coefficient of static friction so that we can just divide both sides by 166.6 and we get that the coefficient of static friction equals 0 0.43817 now whenever the thing gets going um, x2 is uh, kinetic friction and x1 it says it only takes 52 newtons to keep it going so the only thing we have to do now is change this number to 52 and divide it by one because the normal force doesn't change gravity didn't change um, so you just divide, re change your number divide the the coefficient of kinetic force is 0 0.31212